It's extremely important. Okay. You're on your own, guys. One, two, one, two, three. Well, 
Magnificent. Mr. Wonder, you're our man. I think there's been some mistake, girls. Oh, please don't misunderstand me, Mr. Wonder. We are businessmen. We've come a long way to New Orleans to offer you a one million dollar deal. One million dollars. Right. I just drew ten years because of some guy's foolproof get-rich-quick scheme. You Down got payment. The, the bag. Here's the money. Yeah, how much? Fifty thousand dollars. Bottom line. We're not authorized to tell you. You'll hear about it from our chief in New York. Whether you accept the job or not, you get to keep the $50,000, Mr. Wonder. No one will ask for it back. My luck is counterfeit. Well, what do you say, Mr. Wonder? Well, I say the whole thing stinks, but uh, I figure I can live with the smell. <laughs> Will you cut out the funny stuff, Elliot? Swallows can do such things, but only when they're in good shape. I'm in great shape. Watch this. Excuse me. Can you tell me where I can find Mr. Vance? Mr. Elliot Vance? Oh. Took my hat. Who the hell is that man, man? That's Elliot. Elliot Vance. Hey, Mike, how do you like that? We can put it in the act. With a scarecrow with a hat on his head. Well, what do you say? Hey, the guy he wants to talk to said it's important. Who is it? The scarecrow. May I talk to him? Hi, Mr. Vance. We need to talk to you. It's real urgent. Sure. You come up here. Even if it means one million dollars in your pocket, sir? What? There must be a bad connection. I saw someone said a million bucks. Whether you accept the offer or not, Mr. Vance, there is fifty thousand dollars waiting for you down here. yours. It was mine. Mr. Vance, accept our offer and you can stop fooling around with that silly toy. I kind of like that toy. This is your advance money. Huh. And what am I supposed to do with this small change? The agency boss in New York will tell you. We're not authorized to say any more. Hmm. You guys expect me to buy this? Just think, Elliot, there are 20 more other envelopes like this one. Huh. In that case, I'll buy it. If you'll just wait a second, Thanks, Mr. Wonder. Would you run this over Hi, Susan. Mr. Wonder's here. They're using conference right now. It'll just be a minute, Mr. Wonder. Guys, tell the boys to move it. I can't wait. Well, Mr. Wonder, he's just winding up a meeting with very important clients. He won't be long, sir. <laughs> Hey. Hey, what? <laughs> what do you mean, hey, what? The door. Oh, the door. Yeah, the door. Doors are made for opening. Didn't you know that? Hey, 
Is that the only tune you know? Hmm? Sir, where are you going to take off on those bobsleds? Was he born that way, or did the door make him tilt? Hey, listen to me, Blue Eyes. Hey, this is not the right place, man. Wonder. You may go in now. If you want to commit suicide, be here when I come out. You too, Mr. Vance. Wait a second. Godzilla's on his own. Please. Whoops. Where's that million bucks? Yeah. Extraordinary. Really fantastic. Great job, boys. <laughs> you can go now, and thank you. Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. It's a real pleasure having you guys here, both of you together. Sit down, gentlemen. Uh, uh, your uh, twin daughters? Mrs. Thatcher. Members of the board. Oh. Gentlemen, I must confess, you are the jewels of this organization. Finding one is difficult, but two on such short notice. Well, let me say it's... Uh, it's... It's... Uh, it's what? No adjective can describe it. Too bad. I'd like to know what it is. Uh, it's a million. Let's start by saying... That man of yours offered me a million bucks. Yeah, same here. You gentlemen are the result of an extremely sophisticated study program. The living proof of the unimaginable. What about a million? Yeah. I'll come directly to the point, Mr. Wonder. Yeah, yeah the million. million. Our organization is the only one in the world that specializes in... doubles. What <laughs> do you mean? Ringers? We research, find, and persuade individuals who are the spitting images of those who ask us for our help to collaborate with us. Look, <laughs> these are some of our spectacular finds. <laughs> That's incredible. You said it. These are our masterpieces. Mrs. Thatcher, the Pope, <laughs> he needs no introduction. Oh, by the way, the president's double is an extremely fine actor. Uh -huh. Brezhnev, Roosevelt, you know, we sent a substitute Roosevelt and Churchill to Yalta. But without our knowing it, the Russians sent a fake Stalin. That's what created all the chaos at Yalta. They were all absolute devils. Yeah, but what's it all in aid? In order to be in two places at the same time. One step toward the ubiquity of the gods. <laughs> and where the hell do you find these doubles? All over the world. And you convince the million. In your cases, yes. Wait a minute. Do you mean to say that somewhere in the world he has a look-alike? Yes, Mr. Vance. You too. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one Elliot Vance, that's for sure. Naturally, the name is different. But in everything else, judge for yourself. Holy mackerel. If I didn't know that wasn't me, I'd say it was. <laughs> lots of class, lots of style. Uh, shit, uh, now, don't tell me that isn't you, Mr. Wonder. Huh? <laughs> hey, look at this. Well, me in a what suit. Do you say? <laughs> That's Dominion to substitute for seven days in every way imaginable. Who are these guys? Two of the richest men in the world. Cousins. They're 
part of a dynasty that represents an authentic empire of wealth. Uh, they live in Brazil, Rio. Oh, Rio. You know Brazil? Mm. <laughs> He's a pope Catholic. They own uh, tobacco plantations, uh, hundreds of thousands of cattle, mines, shipyards, hotels, oh. banks. Oh. Why, they're always in the public eye. B boy, that's really tough. So, can I count on you both? Count, count. Good. <laughs> when do we start? Now, we're expecting Rio tomorrow. Shut up and let the boss do the talking. Are you crazy? I never opened my mouth. Gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, my God. Identical. I don't believe it. Mm. What do you think, gentlemen? One has to admit that the physical aspect is perfect. Quite disconcerting. One could almost say primitive, don't you think? Mm. First appearances. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to Greg Wonder and Elliot Vance. Hi. Mr. Wonder, meet Antonio Coimbra de la Coronilla y Acevedo. Hi, Tony. Tony. Mr. Vance, Bastiano Juan Coimbra de la Coronilla y Acevedo. Anyone ever tell you you're really cool, Basti? Seeing that we still have certain things to clear up, and secrecy being the order of the day, I've taken the liberty of organizing lunch. Here Let's go. Room. Well, Mr. Vance. Uh, Mr. Wonder. You called them primitive. They're animals. Indeed. What's wrong, Tony? You ain't hungry? I had a snack at my club. Sandwich, huh? You want some? Why not? After I said. Great chicken, huh? Come in. Oh, yeah. Well, now that we all know each other, what's the story? This bit about you being here when you're supposed to be there smells fishy. You don't pay two million dollars for nothing. You have memories, huh? You know how it is with business deals. Right now, this is my first. Yes, we have enemies. Dangerous enemies. There's no pity in the business world. Your best friend can become your worst enemy. The same thing happens shooting pool. Mm -hmm. I was attacked on Wall Street in broad daylight. A terrible experience. Fortunately, the police happened to be passing. You mean you didn't fight back? There were two of them. At all? I get it. Wear the bait for a week while you return to Rio on the seventh day in time to sign a certain contract. And that certain contract is pissing someone off. Someone will do anything to stop, stop you signing, huh? including murder. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say. Say terrific. I accept and we accept. Speak for yourself. If you don't accept, this deal goes right up in flames. You ain't gonna lose a million dollars on your account, Elliot, baby. May we know the reason behind your concern, dear Elliot? Yes, dear Bastiano. The reason behind my concern is that I don't want to block a bullet with my head. Naturally, there may be a certain amount of risk, but one million dollars is one million dollars. I wouldn't be too picky. We're not picky. I accept and we accept. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> what about this, dear Elliot? One million dollars for each of you for substituting for us, plus 500,000 for a mask in your position. You hear that? 500 grand for tearing up the bad guys. Yeah, I, I can buy that. This is very risky, cousin. I would like to suggest something to you both, if you don't mind. Yeah, we're all ears. Be what you are. Free will. In other words, don't attempt to imitate us. Your personalities are so magnificently spontaneous that it would be absurd to try to restrict them. They're so alike. No one could dream the truth. And these seven days will be remembered as, as, a, as a crazy interlude 
that no one will be able to explain. Don't you agree? <laughs> it's crazy, all right. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know something. You're a riot. Riot. Yeah. yeah. A scream, a gas. Oh, thank you. Did you prepare the portfolio for these two uh, gentlemen? I have it right here. May I suggest, dear Elliot, you change your hairstyle? No way. You change yours. Board. <laughs> Why is the plane flying empty? It's been entirely reserved for you, sir. I thought you knew. <laughs> He's absent minded. Absent minded. Would you like some juice? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, let's do some homework. Good thing. Angel Duarte, personal secretary, scrupulous and diligent. Sounds like a pain in the neck. Yeah. Bernardo the butler. Nadino and Benicio, the chauffeurs. Chauffeurs? Chauffeurs. Yeah, chauffeurs. Zephyr, the cook. Yeah, Zephyr. <laughs> oh, cook's helpers. Upstairs maids, downstairs maids, valets, uh, and um, medical staff, gardeners, grooms, etc., etc. It's an army. Never thought I'd re up. Who's this? Donna Olympia Chavez de Altamirano. <laughs> uh, Baroness of blah, 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 Duchess of blah, blah, blah. Close friend of Bastiano Joel. Listen to this. For years, their relationship has been strictly platonic. Platonic? Who's that, some kind of bailman? Maybe. <laughs> Donna Olympia loves Prowse, Bolo, Lair, and Whitman. Hmm. Favorites are Thomas Mann, Beckett, and Joyce. <laughs> Chick gets around. <laughs> she gonna hear from me. The relationship with Bastiano Joao is the talk of high society. <laughs> I know why. You're the only one not getting it. <laughs> I'll change that. Sure. Hey, you married? Who, me? Are you crazy? Not you, you. You, Antonio. Oh, me, me, Antonio. I don't know. Right. Who's this guy? Albert von Eisenberg, doctor, South America's best psychoanalyst, Antonio's analyst. Who's that? He's your shrink. Hmm. Antonio Coimbra is a bachelor without romantic ties. <laughs> His friend and confidant is Dr. von Eisenberg. Two sessions a week at 15 grand a month. <laughs> Some friend. You know the rich? They're always lonely. Well, that's their problem. But we didn't look like those two. I'd still be flying ultralights, and you'd be picking through garbage cans. Mm. Looks like you put on some weight. A couple of pounds or so. Eh, you better try doing some jogging. It's good for you. I just might. There they are. Hey, the chauffeurs. What the hell happened to them? Hey, Nicky Louder! You lost something? No, senor. All right, straighten up and take this bag. Yes, senor. Yes, senor. Hey, you're classy. I'll drive. Let's see what this piece of junk can do. But, senor, you don't know how to drive. Oh, really? I'll give it a try. In the back, mighty mouse. Are you going to stay here? No, no senor.
guess they're even more scared of getting their butt shot off. <laughs> to find a bathroom. <laughs> Welcome home, sirs. Thanks, Angel. Hi, buddy. Uh, any news, Bernardo? No, sir. No, no, it's just good news, like they say. And they knew what they were talking about. Yeah. I'm sure, sir. Hey, what about things at the stables? Fine, sir. Regina in splendid shape this morning. We enjoyed a quiet canter. Yeah. The special fodder came for her from Ireland by airplane. <laughs> Finally. That's good news. But I don't see Zephyr. Zephyr. Hi. Zephyr? What you got cooking for me today? <laughs> oh, well, today, nothing. Nothing? Why? Yeah. <laughs> but it's the first Thursday of the month, Mr. Antonio. What's that got to do with being hungry? But, sir, tonight, Baroness Sophronia Machado Calvoso is holding her monthly cultural meeting. You yourself told me to confirm your presence there. How could I forget? For the brain like yours, it's easy. Really? What time is the Sophronia expecting us? At eight, as usual, sir. Well, for starters, I want to get rid of some of this crud. Crud, sir? Yeah. Sure. He's got to wash up sometime. <laughs> the bathroom staff is waiting for you. Oh? What do they do? this afternoon. I know how the Coimbra's fit in this sardine can wearing these hats. Maybe they take them off. Good thinking. Yeah. 
Did you see my finger? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful, huh? Ask me what time it is. What? Ask me what time it is. Uh, what time is it? Wow. It's a very beautiful day. Mm. Talk about happy hour. This is yeah. it. Well, what's in the program? Sonata for Harp, played by Baroness Sophonia Machado Calvo. Ah, come on. Followed by the lecture, how far advanced is research on establishing nobility through blood analysis? You can't. Can you? Hey, this is better. A voyage for the cooking of Tibet. <laughs> now you're talking. <clears throat> the many uses of birdseed. Well, they feed it to us in the cage or outside the window. Well, we've got to play the game if we want to catch those hoods, cousin. Yeah. But look, I ain't very much better when I was broke, cousin. Come on, let's start tomorrow. I want to raise a little hell tonight. Yeah, I'm with you. To hell with the zombies. They can take care of themselves. Yeah. I remember a good place. Dino! Yes, senor. To the port. To the port, senor. <laughs> Fine with me. Very good, very good, very good. Two rice and beans. Make it four. Okay. Make it eight. Eight. Ten. Oh my God. Ten rice and beans. Uh, hi there, handsome. Well, hi there to you too, beautiful. Will you buy a solo mezzo? Huh? You know who I am? I'm Bastiano de la Coronilla. He has a veto. We don't have champagne. Oh, yeah, champagne, champagne for everyone in the house. Anna. <laughs> Real heart attack material. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you can get a special treatment. <laughs> if I hadn't seen them going in there with my very own eyes, I tell you, I wouldn't have believed it. Well, I've read about guys with big personalities, but these ones beat all records. You said it. Baroness is going to lose her guests of honor, Sydney. Ah, oh, they're just slumming before the main event. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get more than they bargained for. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Start first. Exactly. Yeah, they say he is. <laughs> this is living. Yeah, we're going to give a lecture on this at the park. You bet. Good evening, Tango. The place is full, but I'll find a table for you. <laughs> nah, I want your best table. But. But that table is taken. I want that table. Yes, right away. What's going on? Well, don't look now, but those guys want our table. No. The owner says it's just an excuse to bug us. No. This gentleman here is the meanest one of them all. He likes to scare people. 
He'll, he'll make mincemeat out of us unless we give him our table. You're kidding. He's the best hitman in town and, and likes to be called Tango. He does, huh? Mm-hmm. The fact, dear cousin, that he calls himself Tango in the land of the Samba tells us we are dealing with a total idiot. <laughs> oh! Right now. arrived in force, they were not quick enough to apprehend the assailants who, seeing that things were going against them, escaped into the night with their tails between their legs. When asked to identify his attackers from the police files, Antonio Coimber surprised everybody by saying he was not a stool pigeon and furthermore, that he had no intention of ratting on anybody. You stupid dumb turkey. Boss, sorry, I... You bunch amateurs. I've been in business a long time, and not once has anyone landed me with the balls up like this. Uh, it took us by surprise. Ah, all eight of you. Hey, boss, it was you who told us there were a couple of pansies. I'm not interested in excuses, dummy. My client wants results. Don't worry, it won't happen again. Next time, believe me, I'll take them both out personally. <laughs> 
the same town from cousin Bastiano, who losing his legendary oh, self-control. No. Shocking. No. Went so far as to act out the fight for the benefit of the photographers. Shocking. 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 Indeed. The cousins Coimbra stated they would cover the cost of rebuilding the destroyed club and pay the medical bills of those injured in the fight. A fight? In that horrible place? Do you know what that means? Hmm. They must have been tricked into that pub. A pub? Full of drunks and vagabonds. Underworld language. Stool pigeon. Rat. I shall never be able to show my face at the Yacht Club again. It's certainly annoying. I describe them as magnificently spontaneous. But they're not spontaneous. They're downright dangerous. We could hardly have hoped to have the Duke of Edinburgh substitute for us. Of course not. But these two gentlemen are, I think, going too far. They're doing their best to stay alive, cousin. Unfortunately, they're doing it their way. We've no choice. We either give up the contract... Never. ...or face those hoodlums ourselves. Mm. Well, they are already ruining our reputation, cousin. But, uh, we just hope we haven't underestimated the risk. Room <laughs> temperature. Your chamomile tea. Oh. Good morning. Hey, you got a bad back? No, sir. Then straighten up. Yes, sir. Good morning, sirs. Hi, Angel. Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> oh, sirs, my uh, miserations for the terrible accident last night. Uh, nothing mm. happened mm. to us. Mm. Breakfast will be served immediately. Oh, I can eat a horse, Angel. Oh, very good. <laughs> Hiya, Blue Eyes. Hi. Breakfast with Senor Bastiano, Johau, Coimbra de la Coronilla, Yatsavedo. And breakfast with Senor Antonio, Coimbra de la Coronilla, Yatsavedo. Bring in the grub. What is it, Mr. Antonio? It is a joke. Why, it's your diet. Decided for you by your dietitian. I am my dietitian. I decide for my diet, right? As you say, sir. Give it to the canaries. Yes, sir. Forget it. The program of the day, sir. Oh. I still don't want it. <laughs> oh, Go ahead. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Thank you. At 11 o'clock, you want to visit the uh, plantation. The bananas are to be harvested. What do you do with a couple of bananas at 11 o'clock? Is that all? At 4 o'clock, sir, your appointment with Dr. von Eisenberg. It's your shrink. Oh, yeah. And you, sir, at 5 an appointment with Donna Olympia Chavez at a lake. <laughs> the lake of the Nymphs. Donna Olympia? The bride. Oh, yeah. I've got a couple of things to say to her. Uh, shall I have the carriage ready? Why not? You're a terrific, Angel. Get a little sick around her waist. 
Uh, may I be dismissed? Hmm. Sure. You can split. All of you. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. You know, it ain't tough being rich. <laughs> say that again. Well, you know, they're two completely different people since they came back from the United States. Antonio learned how to play the saxophone. Incredible. And Bastiano asked me to buy him a windsurf. A what? One of those things you fly across the waves on, holding onto the sail. He says he doesn't want to lose his touch. Bastiano. Bastiano. Incredible. Where did the agency guys dig you up? Under a bridge? I was a dirty Charlie's jazz club in New Orleans. What were you doing in the jazz club? They let me out of the city jail once in a while. To play the saxophone. Could be Hank you. And before that? Before well, that, I was just bumming around. So I came to Brazil the first time. Doing what? Trying to find some diamonds in some river. You don't look like you found any. Yeah, me. I look pretty good right now. <laughs> now, what do you do? Oh, all kinds of jobs. But the thing I'm best at is falling. Yeah, fall on your face. <laughs> I'm a stuntman. Oh. When they need a guy to fall off a galloping horse or to drive a burning car off a cliff. Who do they call? Who do they call? Elliot Vance. The best. Um, real high risk stuff, huh? Not if you know what you're doing. And that's you, huh? You bet. You don't look like it. Oh, no? Stop here. <laughs> Got it? When I come galloping towards you, you take a shot at me. Bam. And see what happens. Okay. Five hundred bucks. You ever crack your head? Never. I told you, I'm the best. And speaking about heads, you better watch out for the shrink. What's the shrink got to do with this? I know their game. They make you spill out your guts, and in the meantime, they dig and dig and dig. Yeah, dig where? Into your mind, your past, our past. You know. The doubles, the two million bucks. Well, well, since you're soft in the head, I wouldn't want you to blow the show. Look who's talking. Get it. Take a look. Anyone we know? Huh? I... Uh, I shot. Boom, boom. Bullseye. He dropped to the ground like a ripe fig. Signor Antonio Coimbra della Coroniglia. The Azevedo. Thank you, my dear. My dear Antonio. Oh. Good to see you. Oh, I'm glad to see your muscle tone has improved well, considerably. I'm a little exercise. 
Have you rested well these last few days? Can't complain, can't complain. Do sit down, I'll tell Thank you. you. <clears throat> Have you had any more of those terrible nightmares? Well, not exactly, but... Uh, but? I dream that I'm... Sitting sand in the Rio Prato. You know, sifting mm. and sifting. Typical. Oh, yeah? A recurring symptom of your subconscious. That's what it is, huh? Of course. It's mm. so typical. Mm -hmm. Something to do with your childhood. Playing on the beach with bucket and spade. And, uh, and sifting. Exactly. Mm. And sifting. You see the way things are coming together. Yeah. Right. Come to the surface. Let's go back to your childhood, Antonio. From primordial impulses to these repressed feelings, we dig. I'll dig them out for you. It's so comforting after all this time. I never found someone to do the digging for me. Don't you know it? She's late. Oh, my pure thought. Oh, joyful soul of mine. My Cupid is here. Is that you, Olympia, woman of... Love! Were your chaste lips about to make a declaration of love, my Cupid? Uh, yeah. Well, that's what my chaste lips were about to do. Oh, my life! You are here to bring joy to my eyes and my whole being. Uh, Shall I go on? Oh, my platonic friend. Was it not said your chaste lips would never brush? Oh, well, it was said, but the fact is, Cupid lost his head. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this the day of passion? Better late than never. Today is the day. No, the great day. Yeah, Joyce, Proust, Whitman, <laughs> all rolled into one. They are just words, beautiful words. But life is also blood, flesh, muscles. Uh-huh, I'll say. <laughs> hey. My love, my Cupid. Then. Yes, yes, yes. Typical. It's all coming together. It's all falling into place. This new element of the saxophone fits in perfectly. Fits in, huh? Mm, absolutely. But there's something that doesn't want to emerge. Uh, what do we want to do about it? Hypnosis. Watch the pen, Antonio. Concentrate. Follow the pen. Concentrate. More. 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 You are very relaxed. You want to sleep. Close your eyes, Antonio. Mm. You are asleep. You're in a very deep sleep. Because you are relaxed. Relaxed. Tranquil. And relaxed. Oh, sleep. You can hear my voice, Antonio. I'm going to ask you questions, and you're going to answer them. Because you want to answer. You wish to tell me everything, don't you? Yeah. You are about to sign a contract. Make a deal. Isn't that true? Yeah. I want to know everything about that contract. I want to know everything you do every day until you sign it. You will tell me everything. What the hell do you care? What did you say? Repeat that, Antonio. What the hell do you care? Oh. You're going to tell me everything. Oh. Okay. Now, on the couch. Ready? 
Stark scum of beans. Do you care about what I do? And about but, that contract? But, but Sheriff, it. it's part of the normal therapy. It's not your normal therapy. It's my therapy now. Yeah. There's been a terrible misunderstanding. Well, it's not the only thing that's terrible. I'm going to bust your nose. Get it? Ooh. Unless you talk. You're spying for somebody. Tell me I'll who. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Leave me alone. Native moment. When you came upon my song. Ah, we are here now. Give me new libidinous joy. Only give me the trench of my passion. Give me life, course, and rank. Do you remember, my love? Those are the lines of your favorite poet. Uh, you mean Yoko Ono wrote that? <laughs> oh, you're being so deliciously facetious. Now you know very well that those are the words of the divine witness. Now tell me, was it he who gave you your passion today? Let's forget about the past. From now on, you're looking at a new bestiano. Oh. oh, we'll have to make up for lost time, won't we, my love? Are you kidding? <laughs> Lieutenant Colombo, my badge. Who do you think you're kidding? You're crooks. Who are you working for? You'll find out. Get in the car. Okay. Not your car, fathead. Our car. Get in. Hey! Hey! Hey, wait. Why, you... some place where he can talk. Then what happened? I grabbed him. I had him to stretch out on his couch. I squeezed him until the words started running. Then what? Well, they convinced him to do a little digging on me, and they were going to do some on his brain with a pneumatic drill. So what'd you say? I told him I used a pneumatic drill to clean my fingers. Ah! Subtle, very subtle. I found out that he's leaving his contact at 12 o'clock soon tomorrow. Where? And where's the shrink now? He struck away. Hey, look!
Take it easy, pal. Just tell us the address on this information. <laughs> Sit down. Uh, no, thanks. Uh, we just stopped by to, to give you this. Be seeing you. All right. Why don't we put our cards at the table? But you don't have a hand to play. And even if you had a deck full of aces, the odds are still against you. Who's got a point? Blunt one. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Let me talk to the boss, sweetheart. Yeah, what is it? The mail's arrived. And guess what? A couple of morons brought it over. This is another balls up tango. I'll have you. No, it's no balls up, boss. The glimmers are sitting right here in front of me. Just as sure as my name's no. Tango. Let's <laughs> Bring him out for the weekend. Right, boss. Gentlemen, the boss has invited you to his place for the weekend. Oh. Uh, are you free? When, the weekend? Uh-huh. Yeah. We accept. If they come along, too. Oh, that goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. 
morning, officer. Shut up. Hey, you. But, officer, I told you to shut up. You're in a lot of trouble, buddy. Maybe you got me wrong, officer. No, I didn't get you wrong. Come on out. Oh, you jerk. I'm Bastiano Coimbra de la Coronia. He has Obedo. Oh, my cousin Antonio. Tony, come and say hello to the nice police officer. Hello, nice police officer. <laughs> Move, my head. <laughs> the Coimbra cousins? <laughs> of course. The Coimbra cousins has been a misunderstanding. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, officer. I'm sure it was my fault. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the one who's sorry. But you understand. Of course. I blame the times we live in. Yeah. And what a coincidence. We were on our way to the police academy. Really? Yeah. We wanted to give 5,000 tickets for Sunday's music. Yes. 5,000 tickets. 5,000? You know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Oh, those boys deserve it. They work hard, you yes, know. I know what you mean. If you want, I can escort you to the school. Thanks. We'd like that. Yes. Uh, would it be asking too much if we came in your car? Uh, but, uh, sure, sure. Why not? It's the dream of my life to travel in a police car. Innocent. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're escorting these two gentlemen to the police academy. You ride with them. This way, Jack. Thank you. Follow us, James. Yes. Next time you hear a siren, mister, pull over to the side and stop, okay? Of course, officer. Congratulations, Colonel. Very efficient. Really? Mm. Thank you again, gentlemen, in the name of all our cadets. We appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I'd like to ask you a favor, Colonel. Yes, sure, I mean it. Uh, if our bodyguards could take a look at your training methods, it would help a lot. Yes, certainly it would be a pleasure. I'm counting on you guys to pick up some new tricks while you're here. Yeah, <laughs> especially Sam. <laughs> you know what happened? His car was stolen. <laughs> right under his nose. A limo, just like this one. <laughs> Show these gentlemen around. Yes, sir. This way, please. Well, over there we have the gym and the uh, rent supply. And over there we have the shooting range. Like that's graduating with an average of 98 out of 100. Well, Colonel, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Colonel. No, 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 just thank you, please. Goodbye, sir. Come on, man. Shake your ass up. Three nine four four one three. Is that your lottery ticket? No, it's our man's phone number. Ah. Tangled dial this right under my nose. Wetsuit wets women out there. Trust the best to live in an island. You can't hear someone yelling for help from an island. Who else? Your hands are so quick, they're like tentacles. Sure, 
sure. Go fix some drinks. Jellyfish. He was wearing a long black coat with a collar pulled up, a hat pulled down over his eyes, and thunder. Somebody like that. Try again. He paid me. Did me. How much? Twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, not enough. How do you contact him? I don't. He's always the one to call me. Has this panty voice. A real weirdo. Not the kind of guy you bring home to mother. I swear I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Hey, this guy's on the level. There goes the five hundred bonus. I don't think so. You're coming with us, pal. <laughs> What are you going to do? Start paddling. No. Paddle. Unique. Rarely unique. Oh, listen to this stanza, cousin. Oh, with pleasure. Winds blow south or winds blow north. Day come white or night come black. Home or rivers and mountains from home. Singing all time, minding no time, while we two keep together. Touching. <sighs> come in. Bellboy. Oh. Yes, come in. The newspaper for real, sir. Thank you. What's the news? Let's see. Oh, no. No. Coimbra Cousins hobnob with Underworld. Outrageous. The Cousins, Antonio and Bastiano Coimbra, ripped it up until the early hours in the morning in the company of their most notorious gang boss, oh. Rio. The two magnets, played up to photographers, attracted to the spot by an anonymous phone call. Oh. The club, wine, women, and song, oh. had just opened its doors after the first Coimbra scandal, the Cousin. Another scandal. The family name is completely dishonored. Immortalized in the company of gangsters. Us, the Coimbra's de la Coronilla. Yezavedo. Right, Yezavedo. We wanted two lambs to feed to the tigers. Instead, we sent two tigers. Incredible. Really incredible. It's more than that, cousin. No firm will ever do business with us again. How could we have made such a mistake, cousin? I'm afraid we must return to Rio at once. Rio? Now? We've no choice. As soon as we get there, we'll pay those two savages, present them at a press conference, and explain everything. Everything? Yes, everything. The threats, the, the attempts on our lives, the idea of using doubles, and we'll be in the heat of the hurricane. But then, that go back to being them. And we'll go back to being us. The cousins Coimbra de la Coronilla. Yes, Avedo. Yes. Anyone for money. The bag, huh? And the rest? When you've completed the mission. Let's just say tomorrow's too late. Anything else? Yes, I want them alive. They have a lot of things to tell me. With your permission. I'm aboard. Nobody saw them leave. I didn't hear anything this morning. But you, they were so drunk when we drove them home, I was sure they'd stay in the back all day. And all of a sudden, we get a call to get to the airport. Get in. Good morning, senors. Good morning, senors. Recovered from my 
Your hangover, senors? What is that? Your card, senors. With all the modifications you ordered. No one's suspension. The twin turbochargers, extra strong overhead valve. 12,000 revs from zero to 108 seconds. It's a real bomb, senor. <laughs> I want to paint it immediately. It's original color. Are you resigned? No, senor. I'll take your place. All right, senor. Yes, sir. Home, senor. Well, the farm of San Jose. Then take the car back to the mansion. Yes, senor. Black coffee for me. Lots of it. Black for me, too. I'll take a couple of sausages on the side. Good morning, sirs. Uh, anything new? Uh, only one call for Mr. Bastiano. Donna Olympia Chavez. Uh, she informs you that the theme of the next literary meeting will be uh, love or death, the dilemma of the day. Or I'll have it toasted and right twice. Excuse me, sir. That's so loud. There's a gentleman on the phone who insists on being you. Hello? Huh. How are you, Tony? Really? You say you can't wait to get home? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right in front of me. Hi, from Elliot Vance. Terrific guy. How are things in the Big Apple? What do you mean we're getting bad press? We'll buy out the papers. What was that? You want to buy us out? Why not? It's your funeral. Hmm. I got it, okay. Be, be seeing you. Bye-bye. Well? Taking a ride. Where? The farm at San Jose. The San Jose farm, sir? But it's out of season. And the house hasn't been made ready. Would you shut up, please, buddy? Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, the car's here. Yeah, let's go. I told you to repaint the car. Oh, senor. Uh, at the airport. Are you crazy? We just woke up now. Drive us to San Jose. To, to San Jose, senor? Yeah. But I, uh, we, uh, didn't we just take you there? Have you been drinking? No. I? No, senor. In the back. He'll drive. I'm sorry, they just left. To the farm at San Jose. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah? We should have let ourselves get killed just to keep you looking good at the club. We didn't mean that, Mr. Vance. But was it necessary for you to be photographed with a notorious gangster and a bevy of bar girls? Ah, come on. It's all part and parcel of what you want. The problem is you guys. Mr. Vance and I have done a job that's absolutely great. You know why? First, the boss is in the shit. Second, the right-hand man. Uh, what's his name? Tango. Yeah, yeah, Tango. He's in the shit, too. Oh, oh is he ever. <laughs> He's covered with shit. You got that? The smell is uh, quite disgusting, but uh, I've got it, Mr. Wonder. Good. There's no point in continuing. Obviously, we disagree on everything. If the show is over, give us our money and lower the curtain. <laughs> yeah. 
Jack. Speak louder. It's for you, Bastiano. Me? Yeah, for you. Bastiano Coimbra speaking. Who are you? What do you want? I beg your pardon? Oh. Hello? Hello? Uh, he hung up. Uh, Who was it? The man who wants us dead. Extinguish your dynasty. That's what he said. He sounded very serious. Oh, my God. Hey, listen. Who knows we're here? The chauffeurs. The chauffeurs, of course. No, they wouldn't wait on anyone. Your secretary, that angel, he tried to starve me to death. He's too dumb. He wouldn't know where to begin. The butler. The butler's always guilty. Oh, come on. Bernardo, he watched us grow up. <laughs> now maybe he wants to watch it die. Ooh. I've got him. I'll make a call and... Hi, Angel. Bastiano Coimbra speaking. Anyone call me since I left? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Get to work? Later. Let's see your John Hancock. John Hancock? Sign the checks. Can we raise the, you know, curtain again? Give us the money first. A chop? Yeah, a big chop. Are there soldiers? Well, it's not the cavalry. Who are they? Mercenaries. I know those bastards. Oh, Mr. Wonder, since you know them, could you please tell them to go? Get it. They're coming to cut us into little pieces. What would we do? Start praying. Close your windows. Hey, Coimbras! Get you trapped like rats! Lion. Commander Vanderbosch and his dogs of war. What do you want? We want the two Coimbras. So get them on out here, or you're going to get buried under the ruins of that house. Give us time to think it over. You got two minutes, that's all. Now we move in. I'm starting to count now. Listen. If we all go out together, they'll blast all four of us. If I go out with him, they'll blast us, and you'll save two million bucks. Now, we're not that dumb. <laughs> now, if you two go out, they'll kill you, and you'll take the two million with you. But if you and little cousin go out, they'll kill the two of you, which means big cousin and me will be safe and rich. <laughs> no, I don't like that. But if big cousin and me go out, they'll kill us, and the two of you will have a ball. That's better. No, that's worse. Wait. This is it. Little cousin and big cousin first sign our checks, and then they go out. <laughs> On the button. Good thinking. Thank you. Well, that way we lose our money and our lives. What's the big deal? You can't take it with you anyway. All right, Coimbus. Your time is... <laughs> Don't go. Hey, those are blacks. Yeah, they want to take us alive. Get away! I showed you! Hold your fire! Hold it! Shoot! Captain Brioche! I'm a Coimbra de la Coronilla! He has a Vado. He has a Vado. Oh, he has a Vado as well! Shoot, you clown! I'm not scared of you! Oh, you Boy Scouts! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! Shit. 
Joseph. What, what about us? What do we do? You got pants like these? You mean linen trousers? Uh, yes, yes, I believe so. Okay, then put them on fast. And take the rings, jackets, and ties off. Why? To save your asses, that's why. I understand. You don't want them to know there are four of us in here. You got it. Now let's go. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. I always said my double was smarter than yours. This is your last opportunity, Coimbras. You come out, or I'll unleash my war dogs. Is this all right? <laughs> yeah, you look all right. You're here. What? Oh, yes, of course. You two guys haven't done any fist fighting. Mr. Wonder, I went to school in Switzerland. I never fought in my life. Indeed, the only time I ever raised my voice was when I was five years old. It was over some strawberries. Apocalypse. Stop it. them alive. Right here. Eh? See? <laughs> <laughs> Move out of sight. <laughs> Surprise! 
by surprise. What's this? Hey! Oh. Get up. Put your foot in your mouth. Find him in the house, both tied up nice and tight. You can leave, Commander. You've completed your mission. This is Bosch out. Send the car to pick us up at San Jose. Yeah. Right, thank you. Hey. Okay, he's coming. What should we do? Get out of sight. Oh, well. I like you better without the mustache. Uh, I have nothing against you, believe me, my love. It's that monster there. Yes, that monster. That starving, voracious piranha. It was you! You ruined my father! You completely destroyed him! You forced him to run away! I hate you, you calm vampire, down. you Just shark! Calm down. Think of... Think of... Uh, Whitman. Oh, yes, Whitman. No. It's your cousin. He's a horrible monster. He's a filthy bloodsucker without soul. 
Without... That's enough. You've gone too far. Uh... Oops. Does she faint often? More sensitive. Come on, give me a hand. You filthy bloodsucker. You know what? She's right. You're rotten. Oh, uh, sorry. You know what? She's right. You're rotten, cousin. No, it's not true. I was robbed. Two years ago on a financial operation with other partners. The whole thing was conceived by this hysterics father. And one beautiful day, he emptied the safe and disappeared. With a dancer. He's living in Paris in high style. <laughs> the old man is no fool. <laughs> he convinced his daughter all was my fault. And look at the consequences. Well, if that's the case, all you have to do is tell her. Bastiano can take care of it. I'm sure she'll listen to him. Just, uh, just try to be, uh, a little warmer with her. You think he has a point? Well, the blunt one. Okay, now, checks. Beg your pardon? Sign the checks. Oh. Oh, oh no, no. It's just our car picking us up. Go ahead. Right. Oh, what is it? One thousand. Million. And a half. Each. <laughs> Let's go blow this money before we find ourselves stinking rich like them. <laughs> <laughs> right on time, Mighty Mouse. Thanks, Benicio. <laughs> you know, Tony, we should take up boxing as a sport. Yes, and I should stop my dive immediately. Home, senors? No, take us to the airport. Then come back here, pick us up, and drive us home. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.